a big decision. <laughs> it's weird, but I, I always, uh, you know, talk to myself during, you know, huge choices. It's just something I do, and I, I know it's just, you know, super important. I, I'm not talking to you. I'm, I'm talking to me right now, so... Anywho, probably should just choose something. Well, that's probably enough out of me. When I asked where you guys wanted to go, it was overwhelmingly in favor to go to Hollow Point. Like, no joke, it wasn't even remotely close. We'll meet them at Hollow Point, then we'll go together, like a family. Sounds good. To Hollow Point. I did question whether or not you all trusted Vaughn, and it seemed to be the case that nobody thinks he would actually betray us. Not even worried about it, bro. Man, I'm so relieved to hear you say that, bro. I knew you'd never betray me, bro. Never, bro. Never. What better way to seal the deal of eternal friendship than with a hearty brofist? Thanks, bro. Hey. We're bros, bro. That's bro, bro. Bro! For bro. 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 Bro, 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 I got one. We should probably let him finish. Fine. I'm curious. Why would you choose to go to Hollow Point? What was there to gain? I'm sure you all had your own reasons to want to go back to Hollow Point, but the sense that I got the most was that you wanted everyone to work together. You might call a lack of skill. I've moved up through the ranks at Hyperion fairly quickly. Straight to the middle. And I've been able to do that because of one thing. And one thing only, loyalty. As evidenced by your former boss trying to kill you. We all have our reasons. I suppose yours are good enough. If they were, we wouldn't be here. A man can only take so much. Luckily, you're a safe distance from a man. <laughs> we were stranded in the desert. You had a car. <laughs> Did you even consider coming to get us? We had our own... One of you will have to change a tire. Well, the good news out of this situation is that Fiona apparently did not drop Reese's shoe during the escape. There was at least one person voting to go to Hollow Point that described the choice as, screw the team, I just want Reese's shoe back. So, here you go, buddy. Looks like we won't be walking around in our socks for any longer than we have to. Oh, I can't believe we made it. Do you think the guys will be okay? I'm sure they'll figure something out, probably. But, um, the Badlands are practically a graveyard. If they're smart, they have a chance. I'm not convinced two Hyperion desk jockeys know the first thing about survival in the Badlands. All they have to do is find a shelter and build a fire. They're dead. With a caravan like this, we couldn't help them if we wanted to. Exactly rolling in cash right now. How are you gonna get him to do it? I mean, I'm assuming it's not exactly a charity. 
and we definitely cannot get out of here if we don't get this fixed. He's a mark, just like any other, and every mark has their angle. Find the angle and they'll do whatever you want. I guess that's true. We'll figure it out, don't worry. Stay here. I'll do the talking. Wouldn't have it any other way. Nobody seems to be here at the moment, so it's time to put ourselves in the shoes of a con artist. Let's poke around with what's out and about and see if we can't think of an angle to schmooze our mark about. We could discuss musical preferences, but I think I'd rather have something more substantial than that. Ugh, does every mechanic have to be gross? <sighs> we could talk about sexy ladies, I guess? Hey, wait a minute. Scooter's a fan of the races. Good to know. That race was insane. Rest in peace, Bossa Nova. Alright, looks like we have our inn. Yeah, looks like we have a little something extra down here as well. Leaving me out like this. I almost feel sorry for the poor sap. Almost. Alright, carries the three to five by twelve. Oh, what the hell, man? I gotta cut down my wrench budget. Oh, oh hey, man! Welcome to Scooter's Catch a Ride! What can we do for you today? Uh... Sorry if I seem a little dis distracted. Uh, hopefully handing this place over to the new proprietor today and I gotta get all these numbers and stuff in order. No, it's a lot. I don't know if you know this, but the transition from small business owner to franchise owner is... Surprisingly difficult. Haven't seen this much paperwork since my aunt cousin tried to marry my brother, uncle, and she sued him at the same time. It was a whole mess. <laughs> New proprietor? Yeah, man, I got too many locations now. I can't work all of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hoping to hand this old girl off to Janie Springs, you know her? She used to fix buggies and crap on the moon, so I figured it'd be like riding a bike for her. Figuratively speaking, I don't really do bikes, <laughs> you know? Holy crap! I knew I recognized this rig from somewhere! You were in the latest Bossin' Over Death Rally! Oh, I was there, man! Did you see me? I was, I was waving! You were a badass! Oh, <laughs> yep, got me. That thing's beat up to hell and back, man! I can fix it, but it's probably gonna run you about 2,500 cold 2,500? Uh, that's a little out of my price range. Not to be implied or nothing, but you must have won a buttload of money from that race, right? Where did it all go? Oh, cuz my cousin, right? He said that his sister's friend's neighbor's husband won one of them races one time and the cats kept them fed for weeks. Of course, those days they were mostly, you, you know, the, the money, but, but still, it was weeks. Yeah, someone stole it. Can you believe that? Yes, actually. Yes, I can. Well, tell me this. You think you could ever see yourself racing again? Let me pitch you something, and it might be crazy. But if you keep racing, I would love to endorse you as a sponsor. What do you say? It'll be great. Maybe like a billboard, a couple of commercials, product placement. You'd be huge. Tell you what. Throw in an extra thousand bucks, and you've got yourself a deal. Thousand? Whoa, man, that's kind of a hard bargain, don't you think? Call it a signing bonus. Oh, I, I don't know, man. That kind of thing makes me a little uncomfortable. Say it once for me, man, you know? The catchphrase? Catch a ride! You know what? Come on. Don't be shy. I'm your sponsor now. I could put this up to vote, but let's not kid ourselves. Phrase. We Go all know what the right. result would be. Catch a ride! Catch a ride. Hmm, okay, okay, a thousand bucks. It's yours, but you're gonna have to win, like, a crap load of races, all right? I ain't made of money, man. I'm thinking that we put a big old ad on your van, you know, like maybe a picture of me with, like, catch a ride up above it, you know, all cool, right? I'm looking all badass you to put some badass pictures of you with your car and your hat and all that. Hi, Scooter, right?
Everything going okay? <laughs> I was uh, I was just gonna, you know, go grab the paperwork. Let me take care of that. Okay, bye. All right, man. Here's my standard endorsement contract. Don't mind the sub clauses about uh, explosions and whatnot. I might have copied it from Torg. Anyway, I figure as long as I'm in there and you're yeah, doing it free, maybe you want to splurge and get some of the special packages. I got some good ones. And don't tell me you're broke because I know you got that extra thousand I just gave you. This is something I'd love to put up to a vote. I a so I will. Please let me know which of these sick paint jobs you'd like me to pick for our caravan. I've included a screenshot album of each one in the description of the video, so you have time to look at each one in detail. I don't want to end the video right here, so I'm going to go ahead with the default one for now, since we won't see our car repaired until the next video anyway. Hell, man! Take it from me! The badass from hell! Actually, I think we'll just take her back to the factory settings. Save the extra cash. Ah, no problem, no problem. We can just stick with the basics. Don't blame me when you're missing that flash, though. Come on in, man. We'll get her all hooked up and get to work. Oh, crap. This doesn't look good. Hey, fellas, what can I do you for? Oh, no. I just hope that little deal you two struck is enough to get him to look the other way. Okay, listen, if things go sour, get ready to run. I'll be right behind you. I'll take the high ground, you cover the back end. Only if it comes to it. I'll teach him. Hope you ladies weren't too scared. Just doing my duty to keep ruffians the crap out of my garage. I'm a real protector type. Just all part of the service when you catch a r <coughs> Excuse me. Why'd you do that? Hey man, you two are my customers and seem like nice folks. If you got people after you, that ain't none of my business, but I ain't gonna be the one to turn you in. <laughs> what if they tried to kill you? Then it'd just be another day that ends in why, ha <laughs> ha. Cause the days in and why? But seriously, folks trying to kill me ain't that new. I'm used to it. Seems like there's some bad men looking for you two, though. You got a place to lay low on getting your ride all fixed up? I don't think Felix is too far away. If we're careful, we can make it on foot. Then, let's do it. So, Scooter. Let's talk about him. He's great. I don't like He's this. a returning Borderlands favorite, having been in both Borderlands 1 and 2. He wasn't in the pre-sequel since that game took place on the moon, so his role was replaced by Janie, the woman he mentioned earlier. He's really got a heart of gold, though most people are put off by him. In fact, there was this one time in Borderlands 2 where he wrote a love poem for someone, though um, as a result she shot herself in the head. Looks like he had company while he was away. It could have been Felix. Could be. Come on, look around. We gotta be in and out. Yeah. I got the door. This mess had to have been Felix. If he had any notoriety, it would probably be more than Fiona's. But she seems to be public enemy he number one around Hollow Point. On this thing. So he must have gotten here before we did. Phonograph is more I wonder if there's even anything left worth taking around here. If it's all the same to you, I could do without Felix's classical music right now. I had to force this on him once his eyesight was starting to go. 
Yeah, stubborn as always. I couldn't even get him to stop using floppy disks. Who is she? I don't know. They look happy, though. Felix's favorite chair. Those few times he felt he could relax anyways. A comfort directly proportional to its wear. Hmm, here we go. Always nice to see an old friend. Great, a flashlight. Maybe if we go camping. It's a black light. It's the one Felix used to check our first counterfeit bills. Oh, it looked familiar. It's hard to believe that asshole would be sentimental enough to keep this in his safe. Not unless he meant for us to find it. Well, he either meant for us to find it, or he just forgot the safe existed, which I find hard to believe. So I'm leaning towards the former. What's that? A grenade? Yeah, looks like another one of Felix's homemade projects. Well, let's take it. An untested grenade that we have no idea what it does? Sign me up! Looking forward to chucking this at the first opportunity possible. It's empty. That's strange. The can's wet, but I don't see any paint. Hmm. Weird. Sasha, look at this. What the hell? It's ultraviolet paint. I guess he wanted to keep all this a secret. Well, he left this for us to find, so... There's something he wanted us to see. Well, what better place to start our search than a weirdly open space on an otherwise full bookshelf? There we go. He left something for us to find. Just like him to make a children's game out of something like this. He never could see us as adults. Well, maybe that was the problem. Yeah, Felix is sending us on a game of hot or cold. Thankfully, I know where these messages are pointing us to, so I'm just going to go right there and cut out the middleman. Ah, oh, I see it! Right there! Awesome! If you find another flashlight under there, I'm leaving. Guess that's what we're searching for, huh? Guess so. Here we go. Better double check the contents. Oh, hello, sexy. You're coming with me. Another one of these grenades and we still don't even know what they do. They might not even be grenades at all. What is it? It's an echo comm. Why is there... If you're seeing this, I suppose I'm either dead or worse. My plan worked. I'm sorry. Fiona. Sasha. There's so much I want to tell you, but... The less you know, the better. Oh, give me a break. Halfway through the con, I realized we were messing with Valerie's people. I knew that, and I never revealed it to you two. Well, if you're watching this, it won't be long before she's coming after you. Change your names. Change your appearance. 
Change your life. Valerie? Take Do you know you that name? And go. <laughs> forget about the life you had. And forget about me. But know that I love you both. With all my heart. <laughs> What are you sorry for? You're not the one that left. The one that lied. I'm not gonna listen to another second of his bullshit. I can't believe you let him live. Why did you warn that son of a bitch? Should have let that case explode right in his face. I couldn't let that happen to him. It was always about the money. The second a big score showed up, he betrayed us. We had it. We had it in our hands, Fiona. Ten million dollars. Enough to get off this planet, enough to... to buy a new life. First, we find this vault. Take all the riches it contains, then we'll get off this rock. I promise you, one of these days you'll be looking down on Pandora from space. I'm gonna hold you to that. You always do. You want a sandwich? Might be a while before we eat again. Sure. Huh. Wonder what's in this. What is it? It's some sort of an upgrade. Still only holds a single shot, but it looks like it adds an elemental effect to the bullet. A parting gift. Now this should come in handy. Guns in the Borderlands universe can have one of several elemental effects, and each have their own pros and cons. Hmm, this one comes with another shot. Now I've got two bullets. We've got another decision. Do we want to peek at Sasha's gift? You saw how mad she was at Felix. She's probably not going to want anything to do with this. So this could be our only chance to find out what it is. The choice is yours.